What's up YouTube? It's your girl Miko back with some new hair and I'm trying out more of the styles in Outre's Springy Bomb Twist collection and this hair is the Boho Wavy Bomb Twist and I chose this hair because of the little ringlet curls mixed in with a passion twist. So that gives me the nice full look that you guys know I love with the added benefit of the look of individuals. So if you guys want to see how I created the illusion of individual braids without all the time investment, then keep on watching. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do. I never think, I always do. So this is the hair, it's a twisted up boho wavy bomb twist like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. You get 18 strands in each pack and I got the color 1B. And this hair is 20 inches long and these are those gorgeous curls I was telling you about in the beginning of the video. Just cute, cute hair. So for my braiding pattern, I basically just took my Miko Method braiding pattern, which is the row of individuals across the front, and took that back about three or four rows. That is the secret to the illusion of individual braids when you really just have regular crochet, okay? And then I just have regular cornrows in the back connected at the ends. And I have a little bit of breakage in the back uh, because I was recently diagnosed with Graves' disease and one of the side effects is hair loss. But that's what's going on in the back of my hair, okay? And I'm just gonna start crocheting the hair in. And so once you put the loop, this hair is pre loop So once you put the loop on the latch, you pull it through. And then you loop in the part of the braid right before the curly part starts. That makes it easier to slide the ends of the hair through the loop. And then you just cinch it down. I'm gonna show you that one more time in real time so you can see exactly how I am installing this hair. The important thing is to latch the hook on the passion twist part of the braid right before the curly part starts. That just makes it easier to pull all the hair through the loop without snagging it. And how I'm installing the hair, I'm installing right at the base of the braid, the individual braid. And then I just fill in any gap so you can't see the part of the braid that's braided back into the next individual, if you know what I'm saying. So you don't want to see the ends of the braid going back. So I'm just trying to cover that as much as I can so the finished style looks more natural. And one benefit of this braiding method I found is that you use less hair. So the finished look is less bulky, especially around the top, because you don't have that thick base of cornrows underneath your crochet braid. So I think overall, this just gives a more natural look. So I think that's refreshing and just a new look. If you've been wearing crochet for a while, I think you really might like this new braiding technique. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool
I give it a big thumbs up. It was super easy to install. It was easy to work with, no slipping knots. I've had the hair in for about four days now and it's wearing really well. So I've had no problems with tangling or matting with the curly ends. So it's holding up super well. I'm very happy about that. And I can work out in this hair. So you know, I'm good. And while this hair may look heavy, it's surprisingly very lightweight. So it's very comfortable to sleep in. And so at night, I just put it up in a high ponytail on the top of my head. And I have a huge bonnet that I use for all of my long hair crochet. And uh, I just put it on at night. It has ties. So you can make sure it's nice and secure. So it stays in place all night. And I got this bonnet from either the beauty supply store, Walgreens, or CVS. And this hair is workout approved. I pulled it back in a ponytail and got my workout in this morning with no problems. Now I got this hair at my local beauty supply store right here in Atlanta, but I'm gonna leave some links below to where you can get it online because I want you to be fly too this fall, not just me, okay? I'm cool like that. I got you sis, I got you. Now you're gonna need about five to six packs depending on how big your head is and how full you want your look to be. So guys, that'll do it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you stay fit and fabulous.